This is the Schwanz 27 asking modded controllers in Call of Duty, how is this still a thing? I first ran across modded controllers way back in Modern Warfare 2 in the sweaty game modes like Search and Destroy, where people that weren't good enough to cut it by playing the game normally would get a controller that had a rapid fire mod. In other words, these dudes couldn't make their girlfriends happy with their trigger finger and needed some extra help, so they'd use their modded controller with semi-automatic assault rifles like the FAL, which do more damage but have a lower fire rate normally in order to balance out with the fully automatic assault rifles rifles but with rapid fire mods the only detriment to those weapons has been taken away these showed up in modern warfare 3 as well with the mk14 and the sauna that was face off then in black ops 2 the concept of select fire for assault rifles was implemented such that you didn't need a modded controller to achieve that rapid fire since it was capped at a reasonable rate when the now generation of consoles hit there were no controllers for sale that offered the same type of advantage as previous games plus no semi-autos were even competing with the m27 thermal and Ghosts, and the Balor ASM-1 in Advanced Warfare. During Black Ops 3's time period, however, it was plagued with people using a new type of modded controller, a jitter mod. I mean, this douche canoe even has the word written across his gun, as if to just scream to everybody in the lobby, HEY, I'M A CHEATING LITTLE CUM DUMPSTER! The Brecky was already by far and away one of the best guns in pubs for Black Ops 3, yet these fuck trumpets felt they still needed an even bigger advantage that wasn't aiming properly for this clip here, or in this instance, here, so they bought a type of controller which will cause the gun animation to behave all jittery by having macro inputs in order to get around those fire rate limiters by sending massive amounts of fire and reload commands all at once to cancel any delay in between shots. Like I said though, most players that do this are so fucking bad that they deserve the dip dip potato chip. It's been patched in Black Ops 3 after many months of exploits, but now that it's Infinite Warfare's turn, the dev team is having their hands full trying to keep up as first it was the Reaver, again the easy easiest shotgun to use in the fucking game, you window lickers. Then was the Rack 9, a pump action shotgun, which did even more damage, but since it was a pump action, the jittery fire rate made it even worse, and they finally moved on to somehow making the Akimbo M2187 even more OP than the original incarnation of the Akimbo 1887s from Modern Warfare 2, of which these are based on. I mean, look at how many bullets this gong show shot into the wall in order to just get one fucking kill. Your gamer tag suit you. That is really unimpressivo, dude. And just like the scrotum sniffers rubbing in everyone's face in Black Ops 3, the emblem said... I don't use jitter when the evidence is clearer than Barry Bonds' HGH cream. Gamer Mod CEO, I can't believe ass clowns like this are in business because people are so shit at the game that they'll spend hundreds of dollars in order to get a controller just to cheat. What about these fart inhalers? They're Master Prestige fucking 30, the highest level in the game. And one of these guys sent a message back to someone calling them out that they're just bored of the game. Let me get this fucking straight. You're bored, so in order to enhance your experience and not be bored, you have to ruin someone else's experience. That's the definition of being an asshole. Maybe find another fucking game if you're bored of this one. Stop playing shit you don't enjoy. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, and put away the gesture for you cheating in the final kill cam. It just makes you look like a goddamn dumb shit. Anyways, because of Infinity Ward's ineptitude, there's been several iterations of patches for these exploits, but controller companies continue to find loopholes in game code to exploit in order to get these results. I'm gonna say this, as a jitter modder, y'all did a great job patching them. It's still possible, but very difficult and inefficient. Yeah, one of our engineers has had the time of his life <laughs> um, going after those bugs. Um, yeah, I think what... It, and you guys kind of go both ways on this is it's it is very difficult for us to um, patch these sometimes and some of you might go well other games did it this way or you know so and so did it this way and the difference is is our game is, is different and mm -hmm. sometimes it takes us a little bit more time to figure out how someone's doing something and then by the time we fix it they've already found another way to do it um, so that's usually why it takes a little bit longer well, thanks, Ashti, for that amazing bit of insight. Different games are different. Fucking brilliant. Well, how about let's remove any semblance of skill in the game in the most casual game ever by eliminating reload canceling and animation shortcuts so that people don't have to deal with bullshit like this. Ah, because pro players are too hopped up on Adderall and constantly need to YY in order to calm their nerves because there are no scuffs with fidget spinners attached to them yet. That's my modded controller that I'm bringing to market, but until then, I've been the Schwanz27 asking, modded controllers in Call of Duty, how is this still a thing?